Veteran and current Delta Airlines pilot Ben Canetti will be this year's keynote speaker at our annual Veterans Day Assembly on Friday, November 8th. A proud Alden High School graduate, Ben enlisted in the U.S. Air Force after graduation and dedicated several years to serving our country. Following his distinguished military service, Ben transitioned into a career in aviation and now serves as a pilot for Delta Airlines. We are honored to welcome him back to share his inspiring story. I flew C-130s in the Air Force, so our, our job was to move cargo supplies and people in and out, and we would do paratroop drops. So we would fly over as whatever combat zone, and we would either drop supplies to the Army and the Marine Corps, or we'd drop paratroopers. Though there's tons of stories about that, but the one part of the job that we weren't prepared for, I didn't know was gonna be part of our job, is we were also an air ambulance. So the first time I had to go into uh, Iraq and land at uh, Al Assad Air Base and have Humvees meet us with wounded soldiers that we had to air evac out of there into a hospital in Baghdad was, it was pretty touching because you're in the back and you're seeing how damaged some of these, and some of these guys are 18 years old. And seeing the wounded, that was, that hit me pretty hard. I could give you some heartfelt story, but it would be partially true. But the honest, uh, the honesty behind it is that in high school, I didn't know what I wanted to do. So all my friends were going off to college, and I didn't really enjoy school. So uh, college was out for me. So at that point, I'm like, well, my only other option is I'm going to join the military. My dad was a Army Vietnam veteran. And I heard all the stories about him when I was a kid, so I thought the military would be a pretty cool option. So I flew for the Air Force. I was a mechanic for four years, then I became a flight engineer. And the whole time, about, about the second year into my job as a mechanic, I realized I wanted to do more than that. And I always fix airplanes, obviously, for the pilots. I'm like, I want to do that. So. I set my goals on that, which was not easy because pilot training in the military is tough. It's almost two years. I had to get a college degree, I, and, but that was my focus through my early 20s. And the bottom line, it was so worth it because from the time I graduated Air Force pilot training at the age of about 28, I'm 50 now, and I've loved every minute of this job. You, you got to focus, you got to prioritize um, the job. The training is very, very difficult. So my pilot training class for the Air Force, I think there's about 28 of us and uh, 13 of them washed out. So only 15 of us made it through. And that was just, instead of going out and partying at night, which I, trust me, I wanted to, I had to stay home and study. And I, again, I wasn't the best student back in high school. So I had to study really hard to get through pilot training. So I hate to just say discipline and priorities all the time, but really that's all it is.